What's up everybody, Corey with Freaky Tech Reviews here. There's a company called Satisfy that I really like for their Nintendo Switch grips. And this upcoming November of 2023, they're releasing their newest grip called the Ronin. I was already a fan of Satisfy before, but the Ronin takes it a step further because you don't have to remove it from the Switch to put it into its dock. Game changer. And while this video is gonna be primarily focused on reviewing the Ronin, I understand that it's gonna kind of compete with the Nitro deck that just recently released. So we're gonna take a look at which one you should consider as well. I bought Satisfy's Zen Grip Pro back in 2020 and absolutely loved it. As a gamer with big hands, it's not just that it gives me a better grip on the Switch, but Satisfy also has an ingenious design where the right hand grip is at a different angle, allowing your thumb to more easily reach the lower thumbstick on the right Joy-Con. I'm really hoping that future handheld gaming like the Switch 2 and whatever else comes out takes a look at how Valve did it because the Steam Deck is way more comfortable with thumbsticks at the top of the controller. But until then, grips like these from Satisfy solve that issue for you by angling that right handle so that it's much more comfortable to use. But like I said in the intro, the Ronin is a major upgrade from Satisfy because of its docking abilities. On the original Zen Grip Pro that I have, you have to constantly take the switch in and out of the grip to dock it, which is not only annoying, but it can cause damage and scratches if you're not careful with it on your switch. In a simple redesign of the Zen Grip, the Ronin moves the back support higher and the supports at the bottom are widened so that you can slide it onto the dock. The only call out with the design is that online it says it's kickstand capable, but it seems like that's only for the OLED model as my original Switch model kickstand cannot pop out. But the Ronin and all Satisfy grips fit both the OLED and original model. And although you can see some space with my Switch on the grip, it's still very snug and I'm not worried about it falling out. And let's say you do like to occasionally use your Switch with just your Joy-Cons in your hand. It's very easy to remove the Switch from the Ronin because you simply press the Switch up from the bottom and it slides right out. Another really cool kind of hidden feature on the Ronin is that it can hold two physical Switch games in the handles. This is great because if you pair it with a hard-sided case that you can order with it, you can carry a total of 13 games between the two handles, the Switch itself, and then the 10 game slots that come within the case. Speaking of which, the case is very nice and awesome quality. I like the smooth felt feeling inside and also the rugged hard outside and the zippers are really nice as well. One thing to know is that all Satisfy products fit together. So if you have an older case, this new Ronin grip will still fit into it. So you don't have to buy a new one. So after this video, if you are interested in this grip, I would definitely consider the case because it is definitely worth it. And I wanna say that specifically because getting the case does increase the price. The grip itself comes in at $50, but I'm seeing it at the filming of this video that it's on sale for $45 and you can get the case with it as a bundle for $80, but currently is $68. There are also other options besides white available such as black and the Mythic Edition. And there's also an elite bundle with a bigger, thicker case that includes a screen protector, three foot USB-C cable, shoulder strap, rise pads, and a controller rail. Satisfy is also running a pre-order special currently where you can save 15% using the code RONIN15 with expected shipping next month. Now I know one of the big questions is gonna be, how does it compare to the Nitro Deck? And if you haven't watched it already, be sure to check out the video where I recently reviewed the Nitro Deck upon its release. But thankfully, it's really easy to choose which one that works best for you because they actually fit two totally different gamers. And while I can confidently say, I don't think you'll make a bad choice whichever way you go, there are three things that I consider when looking at these. The first is, do you prefer a hybrid Nintendo Switch gaming style where you're constantly going back and forth between it being docked and playing it in handheld mode, or do you predominantly just wanna play it in handheld mode? I will say that the Nitro Deck missed a really good opportunity by not having an HDMI port on it because it being its own dock would have been an absolute game changer. So that's definitely a point for the Ronin because it just slides right into the dock. Number two, do you find value in the remapping and customization features of the Nitro Deck. The combination of turbo mode and reconfiguring your buttons is great if that is important to you. I'm not one that typically does a lot of remapping on my controllers, so for me, it's not super important. And I know there's a lot of other people who don't use this feature at all, but for some people, that's definitely a deciding factor. And the third reason is kind of the biggest one. Do you prefer to use actual Hall Effect joysticks like the ones on the Nitro Deck, or are you okay with using the Joy-Con joysticks? And I know Joy-Con joysticks have gotten much better since they eliminated stick drift and they started including better technology into them. But this is also kind of a big one because I prefer a little bit more travel with my joysticks and the Joy-Cons just don't move very much whenever you use them. So for that example, it kind of comes down to, are you okay with using the hardware on the Switch itself or do you want better quality parts? And of course there are other things to consider if you're choosing between these two. However, I think these are kind of the three areas that I would personally be interested in the most. And since they are at similar price points with the Ronin being around 65 to $80 with a case and the Nitro Deck coming in at 60 to $90 depending on style. And because they cater to different use cases, I can't say that one has an edge over the other. Now, aside from receiving these products, I have no financial reward for saying good or bad things about either product. So I'm 
completely neutral party. I just think they're both actually really good products. So it really comes down to what you value as a gamer, but I do think that it's interesting that so long after the Switch debuted back in 2017 that we're still seeing brand new to the market third party accessories. That's just kind of a testament to how good that system is and it kind of makes sense why Nintendo's not in any hurry to upgrade their console. I did another video recently that you should check out talking about how Nintendo has Switch 2 testing models for developers that are already kind of circulating privately. So maybe in 2024, we'll see something. I don't know. I would not say that it's worth waiting on getting one of these grips to get a Switch 2 because it's all speculation at this point. But with brand new third party products for the Nintendo Switch still hitting the market in 2023, Maybe the Switch 2 is a little further away than I thought. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you like the Zen Grip Ronin from Satisfy? I think this is a fantastic grip for the value. My favorite thing about what Satisfy is doing is they're identifying problems in the Switch marketplace and addressing them. They also have a Steam Deck grip and they're starting to release more and more for different consoles, but their take on problem solving from a budget perspective is something that I'm a very much a big fan of. So I love Satisfy, highly endorse them as a gamer, but I'd like to know if you like them as well and what your thoughts are. If you've made it this far into the video, I would love if you would consider subscribing and joining the Freaky Tech family. But I really appreciate your time today and you spending some of it with me. Again, I'm Corey with Freaky Tech Reviews. I'll see you next time. <laughs>